Hi, I'm, Hi, I'm Katie wow. Shander Reynolds. Hey, there. I don't know why you're talking. I don't this know. This is my show. You're just a guest tonight. Okay. So you need to let me do the talking. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katie Shander Reynolds. Welcome to Behind the Curtain. And we have a fabulous show for you tonight. We have just finished a fabulous project on film that we will be premiering at the VFW on September 5th. It's a Wednesday night that we hope you will be able to come out and see Nearly News, the film that we just filmed. Yes, we did. Yeah, oh, okay, now you can talk. Okay. okay, so the premiere, September 5th, and we have just finished, we're just in the process right now of putting this film together, and today on the show we have the behind the scenes professionals who are doing all that work. Mm -hmm. And so I will be interviewing Joe here, who was the director of the project. We have Todd Carter here tonight. He is the, the lead cinematographer. We have his Assistant director. assistant director, Aiden Shander Reynolds. We have Connor Donovan, who was also an editor on the project Camera and just person. put together a fabulous mm -hmm. trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have Phil Jarjari, mm -hmm. who is the sound editor. Yeah. So they will all be here tonight. I will be interviewing them and asking Wonderful. penetrating, piercing questions piercing. of everybody. And you will be getting some inside info about this great project. Yeah. So some other important things that we need to let you know about are our fall show that we are getting ready to have our table readings for. Yes. August 2nd and August 9th, we will be having table readings for Play On, which is the play that we'll be doing this fall. It's a comedy about something we know a little bit about, actually, you know, community, community theater. theater. Yeah. yeah. So we've got that going on. And that's October 25th, 6th, and 7th that will at be the, the VFW again. That will be the run of the play, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So... so how about we watch the little clip that Connor did? We are going to watch the fabulous trailer that Connor just put together, and then we will be right back with the interviews. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Thank okay. you. This week, Tim Holtquist and former South Boston resident has bought local TV station WTNA. I need to do something to get these ratings out of the grave, and I'm searching for anything that will make our show more watchable. My gosh, I hit the intern starting tonight. Interns? That's all we need. Well, the new station owner has been firing everybody. He fired half the production team, several field reporters, and maybe even an anchor. He, he buys stations like we buy music on iTunes. I just stream on Pandora. <laughs> we have our sports anchor, who's off on the golf course more than he reports any scores. And then there's our weatherman, who falls asleep in mid-sentence. And you kept Marcy our supposed lead field reporter who has slept with everybody in the business to get to where she is. Well, except you. You know, uh, Keely, I'm not too sure about this internship. Say good night, Erica. Good night, Erica. All right, welcome back. That was a fantastic viewing of the promotional video for our new movie done by Connor. Yay. Good job, sir. Well done, sir. I have a question for you, actually. Yes. Since you acted in the original version of this way back when, the interns, and this time you were behind the scenes, you right. were behind the camera, which did you prefer? I don't know. It kind of depends on the day. I've, uh, <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty experienced in both. Yeah. Um, and it kind of, yeah, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Some days I wake up and I'm just not ready to, not ready to act. And some days I wake up and I'm all gung-ho about it. So it kind of depends on the day. I can always stand behind a camera, though. That is true. I'm always down for that. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. All right. So next time we have something that we need filmed, we know where to go. Oh, yes. Because he will always stand always behind stand the camera. Always. Yes. All the makeup yes. is so hard to do. That's true. Yeah, no. <clears throat> I'm... I sat in makeup for three hours before we started filming this right now. So. Well, you look fantastic. It was well oh, worth it. But my question to you was, <laughs> is, is well why, worth it. Is why do you do the makeup when you're behind the camera? I don't. You still do the same three-hour thing. <laughs> it's just it's 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 about it's, the appearance. It's a signature look. Yeah. It's a signature I'm look. Working for him. Good. All right. So Joe, talking about you know the way back when the interns. This is our third iteration of this material, and I was wondering, in your opinion, is this the third time's the charm, or three strikes and we're out? 
I think it just keeps getting better and better. I yeah. think we just built on something that was really good in the beginning, and we just keep building on it and adding more and more ideas and actors. And so I'm saying it's uh, it's only the top of the first inning for this nine inning game. All right. Would Zach approve of the movie? Ooh, ooh. Would Zach approve of the movie? Um, yeah. I think. Zach would not approve of his character being cut. <laughs> <laughs> and we missed his sartorial <laughs> contribution. I have to say, the right. Zach outfits, you know, yeah, were a big part of that. He wouldn't get first. to wear his slot socks all yeah. the time, which would yeah. be, it's just pretty disappointing. Um, but in, in a way, he's irreplaceable, I, I say. Mm. So. <laughs> Good point. Um, so, you know, he would probably be uh, humbled that he's not been replaced by mm. somebody, mm -hmm. but at the same time mad that he wasn't in the movie in the first place. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Todd, I have a question for you. All right. So you were the lead cinematographer, the editor. Have you chosen a title yet? No. Okay, so. There's too many to pick. There are, I know, and they're I all so good. They're all so good. What was the most challenging thing for you about having that role? Oof. Um, I think the most challenging thing was I think uh, Connor and Aiden can attest to this, was setting up all of the shots each time and all these little things that we kept doing, just little tiny adjustments to the camera, uh, to the shots, to all the different angles, because we're working with upwards of three or four cameras mm -hmm. for a scene. So adjusting each and every one of those cameras to be just perfect for that scene, I think that's probably the toughest part. And working with Phil. <laughs> That's always difficult. All right. So judging by what I've heard, somebody saw the rough cut last night. You did an awesome job. Does I it mean, feel good to look back now and say, oh, you know, that was really hard, but I did it. I pulled it off. Yeah, it was definitely very rewarding yeah. going through all of the footage because the rough cut is what we saw last night, but that also took hours of scanning through all the footage that we had, yeah. which is uh, right now, spoilers, I had an hour and a half cut. And of that hour and a half, I probably went through five hours mm -hmm. of footage. Wow. So well, I guess that's how it must work, huh? Yeah. yeah. Did we introduce everybody? We did not introduce anybody because they're all so well known in the community. That's true. Like, that's why true. bother? Why bother? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Just was curious. But for those of you who are just tuning in for the very first time ever, we have Todd Carter. And we have Aiden Shander Reynolds. And we have Connor. Everybody has to know Connor. Connor Donovan. Right? Connor's been on, well, actually, Aiden, you've been on the show before, too. And Connor. And then we have Phil Jajari. I don't know. Is that, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes. Yes. Connor, I don't have okay. a last name. Yeah, he oh, did. he said, said Donovan. Donovan. I didn't know that I needed to repeat it again. It's okay. I'm like, but I'm Connor like Donovan. I'm like Prince or Sting. <laughs> it's just yeah. Connor. Yeah. Just Connor. So, all right, I have more questions for other people. Love the questions. I'll be coming back to you guys. Don't get too complacent. Aiden. That's me. I think, you know, the world and our audience would really like to know, what was it like to be assistant director to Joe? <laughs> Scary question. No, <laughs> um, it was actually... So, yeah, right? <laughs> wow. Let's go in so Remember, many it's a family Can show. Take two um, takes in? <laughs> so, I, originally, I was really intimidated because I didn't, never done anything like this before. I mean, I kind of came in thinking, like, what am I doing? Um, but Joe, actually, he was amazing at the start, kind of being like, this is what you're doing, stick to your role. And then, as I got more comfortable and kind of like got used to what I was doing, he let my like creativity go a little bit. He kind of just let me loose and just into the world. So I, I kind of, I really enjoyed it. I loved it. And I think Joe did a fantastic job oh, mentoring you. me. Because, you know, his ego needs that boost. So I figured <laughs> I'll hand it to him. Get it out of the way now, guys. <laughs> he also had a For Dummies book. He had an assistant director for Dummies. <laughs> yeah, so, of course. Uh, that was not supposed to. We need to, we need to change that title, though. It's not assistant director. It's Schlate Boy. Schlate Boy. Schlate Boy. <laughs> and that's what made it all worth it, right? I mean, all those really painstaking things that you had to do to set up for each scene was well worth it when you got to scream from the booth for your slate boy. Slate boy. <laughs> yeah. I think we can make a movie out of just rolling and slate yes. boy. Yes, and actually that and, leads and me into a question for, for Phil. Ooh. How are your eardrums? <laughs> I mean, 
it, being in that sound booth with him, how many times did your eardrums get blown out? Well, <clears throat> funny you should ask. Wow. Uh, <laughs> as you know, I always wear headphones, right? Yes. Well, I had to replace the headphones. <laughs> I was using it for a set that had noise canceling features. Ah, so when that I was wise. On, it shuts out, it brings down the word rolling from 140 dB to about 105, <laughs> which is tolerable. Okay, that's good to know. 140 is a jet engine. So I shouldn't, I, should, I, shouldn't <laughs> suggest, I shouldn't suggest right now that Todd give us an example of what it sounded like. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's well, go. Let still nightmares. He still has nightmares. <laughs> Miles, it's going to go into clipping. <laughs> yeah. We must have clips of that. We can insert one of those clips in here. Oh, we're not going to do it here. Oh, we can, yeah. we can do it here. Are we, are we ready? Is everybody prepared? I mean, that. mentally, emotionally, I'm physically? I'm definitely Okay, we ready? Roll it! Oh, God. And I often wondered, you know, because if I were in the, the front room there getting ready for a scene that we were filming in there, and we had the, you know, the, <clears throat> the televisions on, and you were still screaming like a banshee, from the back room, and I just realized you must have really just enjoyed doing that, getting all those frustrations. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was. It, it, it was. Better that way. Childish, just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Super excited. Uh, so, Joe, what was it like having these three at your back? Um. As 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 an actor, I mean, I found it very amusing. I I thought that the the set atmosphere was really the best one we've had so far, I, I, in my opinion. It was serious in the sense that they knew what they were doing mm -hmm. and they were clearly working hard to get the work done, but it was fun. I mean, every single night was lighthearted. And I think the first meeting we had with people, first thing I said to everybody is, this is a project, we're gonna have fun. If we're not having fun, we shouldn't be doing it, right? But we're professional and we're trying, well, we're trying to get a good product out there, and we all are aspiring towards the same thing. So once I think you level set that we're all in this to do the best product, and let's have fun doing it, the rest becomes you know easy to deal with. So to answer your question, they were fantastic to work with. All of them were fantastic. They were here on time. They're professional. We, you know, they did what needed to be done. We communicated well, I think. Um, and I trusted their creativity on some things. And I think they came up with some really good ideas on camera angles and um, you know, what works in the scene and what the actor is doing, what it's not doing. And, and then we had a little fun every time we did a, sec a scene in which we said, let's do an LOL scene. And they all got a chance to come up with an LOL scene and about, you know, we're gonna do one more scene, one more take of that, and then we just do something bizarre. Yeah. And all the actors are rolling their eyes because yeah. that's yeah. another take. That's another yeah, take. Yeah. But we usually did it when we were done taking and then it's fine. But uh, yeah. No, they were great. It was just fantastic. But I think the, the key was, and I appreciate you saying that, it was a fun set atmosphere, good group of people, and uh, you know, that's really what it's about. It's fun to do. And they were great yeah. to work with. Agreed. All <clears> right. <throat> Phil. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Will you work with Joe again? Wow. Why is the question to them about me? We can <laughs> I just asked you a question about them. I know, but it's true. It's Will fair. I it is work fair. Will you work with Joe with again? Joe again. Yes. Why or why not? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. The, the, an, the first answer is simply, do I have any choice? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We all know how it works I'm with Joe. I'm diagonally across from him. Yes. If I don't work for him, he'll come <laughs> mow my lawn with ragged uh, mower or something. That's why he doesn't write, he doesn't, and he doesn't do improv either, by the way. Yeah, sure. We're all Quite friends here. <laughs> and what was the second half? Sort of. Why or why not? Oh. But I guess you answered the question. You, you're going to work with him again because you're afraid of the repercussions if you do not. Right, right. Got it. However, no he's very lawyers, vengeful. No lawyers watching this, right? <laughs> I have to admit, that it's fun to work in that studio. I, I mean, that control room. Mm -hmm. And control a big 25 channel mixer when all I have is a mere 16 channel mixer at home now. And before that, it was only 
six. So you just so you get to, to work in the you studio. get to play with new right. toys. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. You find that fun. So that's cool. All right, Aiden. That's me again. Yeah. Oh boy. So play boy. In the first film that we did with this basic story, you were Daniel. The TV show. Yeah. Well, it was a film project, yeah. but yes. And I wanted to get your opinion on like how Tanner's portrayal of Daniel differed from yours. Ooh. And what did you So I feel like I was kind of more like a kind of nervous, unsure of himself. And Tanner was kind of more outgoing and he was loud and proud. Uh, I think Tanner killed it. I think first time I'll say this, only time I'll say this. I think Tanner did a better job than I did because I, I was really, really impressed by like his take on the character. And I I kind of I could like connect with his version mm -hmm. better and it kind of it fit with other actors, I think. <laughs> and I think part of that is because he absorbed some of some of Zach's lines. Um, maybe absorb some of his character. I don't know. Maybe. But I think that's fair. I mean, the character was different this time yeah. because it was sort of an amalgamation yeah. of Daniel. We and already Zach. went over this. Zach is irreplaceable. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. But some of some show. of Zach's lines we couldn't let go. Yeah. You know, we couldn't let them all go. But I, I'll just say that I don't think there. Excuse one me. Was what do you think than, you're doing? I'm, I'm interrupting. I didn't ask you a question. It's okay. But, <laughs> that's fair. Remember the thing he said about the. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was one was better than another. They were both different. They were both good. They were just different perspectives on the same character. So I think that it's a, it's sort of like when people make remakes, it's a different thing. So I don't think one's better than another. So I think they were yeah, both why good. That's why I see Hamlet more than once. Yes, they keep coming back with that one. My God. I know. And so Aiden is basically, <clears throat> Aiden and Tanner are basically Hamlet. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Pretty much. Yeah. Glad someone put it out there. I didn't want to know. <laughs> I'm back or anything. But so we're, we're I'm going to ask you then a, a similar question. Um, to the one that I asked Connor over here. Which did you prefer, or did you prefer, behind the camera or in front of the camera? I'm gonna have to give the same kind of answer Connor gave. I, yeah. I can't really, they're so different, I can't really pick one. It's really cool when you're, oh my God, you're being tapped by your partner next to you. Um, <laughs> it's really cool when you can kind of stand behind the cameras and kind of see everything coming together. Mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of look at what's going on and understand why certain things are done a certain way rather than the intuitive choice or what you would have done in the real world wouldn't really make sense on camera. Mm -hmm. But when you're actually acting and you're standing in front of the camera, it's so different because you're making these decisions, but you don't really understand what, the, the director might tell you to do something else. And it, I don't know, it's just so different that I can't really pick one that I prefer. There. Well, it's good that you like, like them both. That is a good thing. All right. I don't know how much time we have left, but I yeah, want to make sure I get in the good questions. Get them all in. We can always edit out yes. the ones that I'm speaking. All right, Phil. <laughs> how did this project compare for you to therapy sessions? Oh, I, you know what? I thought you were going to ask how it compares to the interns. Mm -hmm. However, you didn't. So. I didn't. So I moved answer, on. Answer the question she asked, Phil, <laughs> and stick to it, or we're going to have your lawyer in. How did it compare? Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms I have of to say that I enjoyed this more because it was uh, easier to uh, capture good audio with this one. Sure, because we weren't in someone's house. Yeah. Well, or driveway. Or driveway, yes. Uh, with chickens. Where, where else did we go? I forget. You love the outdoor scenes, Phil. Don't get me wrong. You like that, external shots. That scene at Stones. It uh, went perfectly. <laughs> no, no. The first. <laughs> Trains, <laughs> planes, automobiles. Second time went well. He liked the yeah. second one. Yeah. That's the only thing about it. Yeah. About the whole shoot was the outdoor thing. It just didn't work. Pain in the well neck. Well, for an audio, from an audio perspective, it was kind mm -hmm. of uh, ragged. What would you do differently for an external shoot than you would do for an internal shoot? Because just uh, pick a, a, a nicer outdoor location. But nicer I, I meaning quieter. You, you can't just go wherever you feel like going. You, you have to arrange the... Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just curious whether it's a technical thing or if it's a personal preference that you prefer to be indoors versus outdoors. Oh, no. it's totally technical. And uh, uh, 
Stone's Public House was the biggest challenge I've ever had trying to capture sound. And I thought for sure that it would be better with your uh, body mics on, but uh, it's only this much better, in my view. But I haven't heard it yet. So, so now can you say it's that much better if you haven't heard it? Just questioning well, the right Because now. I had headphones on. Oh, you heard it night. as it was happening, yeah. yeah. We watched it last night. I mean, it's, you'll, and, and it you, you'll not like it because I know how picky you are, but that's uh, okay. It's good. Picky is good. Picky is good. All right, well, so. It's good that you're not as picky as me. <laughs> Nothing would ever get done. That'd be yang yang. Take 740. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a question for all of you to think about. Um, what was one thing you learned on this project that you didn't know before? Hmm. One new thing that you learned. Oh, I got one. Okay. I didn't know that Jody owned a Britney Spears shirt. <laughs> I learned that. Yes, that's don't important talk about knowledge. that. <laughs> I didn't know she knew it loaned that. That's probably the first thing that popped into my mind. Let me, I'll, I'll think Maybe I should one. have been more specific in my question. What's oh, okay. one useful thing <laughs> that you learned that you didn't know before? Uh, you were funny. <laughs> I think Todd uh, has something he'd like yeah. to say. Bring memory cards if you're <laughs> off location. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, wait, you I, know, I Connor would, doesn't have to run through traffic yeah. to get them. I would think you would have known that one already with all of your experience. Wow. You would think. Yeah. Yeah. You would think. But, but That's good that you learned it now. That's yeah. good. You would think. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, this is an inside joke because we showed up to a shoot one day and Todd forgot the memory cards, so Connor had to drive through traffic. Adding yep. another 30 minutes onto the shoe to go get the memory cards. Yeah. You would think. <laughs> you would think. Yeah, there's always something. Light bulbs. We're all cards. friends. <laughs> oh yeah, and we're not even going to use that take. That that whole that whole day. <laughs> so what did you learn from that experience, Connor? Have to remind Todd to bring memory cards. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, um, I, I don't. I don't know if I if I learned anything specifically new, but I kind of stretched my my knowledge a little bit like practically I had I had thought about the way I would do a scene or I would the way I would edit a trailer mm -hmm. or put together a, a title card or something like that but I it's just one of those things working at the station that you, you just it doesn't come up every day so this was more of a more of an experience in like putting all the skills that I had to use especially since I, I'm just I just came out of college and stuff with uh, with degrees in this sort of thing so it was kind of a practical um, sort of a road test of, of the things mm. I've already learned. Yeah. I just wanted to piggyback off of that. And I said, I, I, I was going to say, I think we kind of like pushed each other a little bit too and we tried out some new things. Yeah, definitely. We definitely switched up camera angles and, you know, really changed the way. I don't know if we learned anything too new, but definitely uh, switching things up. Right. Unlike these two professionals, I'd say I learned a lot. Um, I don't, can't really pick out one specific thing, but just generally I'd never assistant directed before, so I, I think that I, I learned a lot. I mean, everything from day to day, just telling actors where, where they were last, where they should be next, mm. um, setting up the stage, making sure everything's aligned correctly, making sure everybody's wearing the right costume, which mm -hmm. we had with sometimes. <laughs> um, going back and talking to these guys about various shoots, that kind of stuff. Writing all, legibly on the slate. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been a doctor. Oh, is, there, is, there music, is there music before I speak? Or? Just wanted... which, which side are you going to come in on? I don't know. Okay, I think the other side. The, uh, the one thing I will say is that I had a vision of what the story would be about, how it was going to be. And I tried to articulate that to the team to make sure they knew what we were trying to get to. Uh, the thing that I learned the most was the switching board. That was pretty cool. And I, they, I started doing it, and they couldn't drag me away from it. I'm like, oh, I'll switch, Todd. I'm good. I'll, I'll be switching back. Oh, this is cool. So that, that was pretty cool. And, and uh, seeing what Maybe you, you should tell the audience night. what that means. Though. What is the switching board? It's, it switches between one camera angle to another angle, so you can actually switch the, what is being recorded from whichever camera is being, was being filmed. But I also learned a lot last night just to see what you do just to edit. And it's an amazing amount of things. And you were moving things around on that screen that was it's like, it's like a blur. 
and uh, it was pretty cool. So both of those aspects, from the technical aspect, mm -hmm. uh, I'm enjoying to learn that. Because I knew from uh, what I wanted to have happen, and I just kind of tried to explain to them. Right. Remember the long conversation we had on about what we're going to do for the conference room interview thingies, whether we're going to do it here, we're going to do it there. It's a lot of definitely collaborative approach about what we're going to do there. So it was good to uh, hear everyone's opinion there. I think he says we got three minutes. Three so. minutes? No, go ahead if you have more to say. We want to hear it. We want to hear it, yeah. Well, I thought of everybody's. Yeah. yeah. What did we learn? Yes. yes. What did you learn, Phil? Something very simple. OK. Uh, one of the jobs of a sound guy is to make sure that the signals coming into the mixer aren't so high that they overload the mixer or distort. OK. So I would set the control that governs how much is coming in with about uh, 20 decibels of uh, headroom. In other words, the signal's here. I got 20 to go before I get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, when we filmed that scene in the conference room, and everybody started yelling oh, yeah. and complaining yeah. and flipping out. <laughs> uh, there, was there was not enough cushion? There wasn't enough headroom. So I learned that uh, rather than leave it at 20 below, I should be about 30 or 40 below. Very cool. I mean, not every day you learn something like that. No, so. not every day you film a scene like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Um, so, were there any surprises on this shoot that you had to deal with unexpectedly? Anybody? I mean, we already talked about the memory cards, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, surprises? Yeah. The actors knew where to go most of the time. Well, that was one nice thing. I mean, as opposed to other projects that we've done on film where the actors really knew their lines this time. Yeah. Because we had just done the play fairly yeah. re recently That's and we remembered our lines. Right so that was nice. We wanted to do it right after yeah. the play. So that was that people nice. were there. It was nice getting yeah. everybody back. It was. Everybody. That and was we added more. So. Brilliant. Yes. I think the surprise for me was the new actors that we acquired. I think, uh, for those who don't know, are really going to be. A great insert into the show. I don't, All right. I don't know if I call this a surprise, but something that I wasn't really looking for at the beginning and wasn't really paying attention to that we caught on quickly that we had to pay attention to was um, rings, wedding rings on people's fingers. Mm -hmm. I, Continuity. I, I, I didn't, stuff, yeah. It didn't yeah. even occur to me. Yeah. Like I didn't even think that that's something right. that we yeah. need to be on top of because yep. it's important. Yeah. But. Yeah, it was interesting because watching you learn how to be the assistant director, it, it also brought all those little details up for me, like, oh, yeah, I mean, I guess you have yeah. to think about all, there's so many little niggling mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that yeah. have to be done. Yep. You know, and on a project of this scale, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. You imagine, like, a full-length mm -hmm. Hollywood mm -hmm. movie, yeah. what oh, they yeah, must yeah. have to do. That's why you have that, that long you know, list of credits. about the people. list of 80,000 people that it takes to make a movie. All right, one more quick question. Most fun moment. Well. Schlate boy. <laughs> <laughs> so many fun moments with that one. Yeah. I was going to say, that wasn't one yeah. moment. <laughs> so many. That was every day. <laughs> the outtake, which we purposely staged to scare you. Yeah. That was to funny. me, that was real fun. I liked the one when we um, came on into the kitchen with the mop. That was fun. The mop was good too. Mop was fun. The mop was good too. Was the one when all of us went behind the camera. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah, behind yeah. the screen, yeah. where David was sitting there that interview, uh, talking. Oh, when you were Katie, behind the window. And you were yeah. Yeah, behind the window. That was yeah. cool. It was a bunch of I liked the one where you guys came into the conference room dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I really liked, well, I don't even know if it's an outtake, but when we, at the end when you guys were all yelling, and throwing stuff, and we just kind of let them go. For like that was the one he was just talking about with the, yeah, the yeah, decibels yeah. going up. That was pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> what about you guys? Favorite? Funny? Favorite funny? Most fun. I think the pizza guy. <laughs> Oi. How many takes did you ruin that night with that one? Just, just twice? You went to get the pizza, and then he came back and said, I think he needs a tip. <laughs> Give him the three bucks. Seven, we gave him seven just as a big bill. I'd have given it to him, but all I had was 20. <laughs> he would have taken that. He would have taken that. He would have taken that. Um, yeah, I, probably with, with Joe. On the, um, there, was a, there was an outtake where it was um, David and Katie 
having a back and forth, and then we all just kind of appeared in a window <laughs> yeah. behind Katie, and David was stone faced, <laughs> yes. professional, yeah, exactly. And he just kept going with the yep. whole scene, yep. Yep. even though the she knew what was going on, and she said, "Something's going on back there," but she was going through yeah, it too. Yeah, I had the yeah. reflection on it wasn't the. Kind of the list of no. no. No, we were like, this could be the take that they want to use. We could finally be getting it right. You can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely they not. They stayed in character the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was fun. Even with, with all of our stupid outtakes, everybody yeah. always stayed in character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the show must go on. Well. So, well, it was so much fun having all of you guys here, and thank you so much for taking your time to, to be with us and answer some silly questions. and. Some not so silly, I guess. They were very good, very good, very well. So I look forward to working with all of you guys again. Yeah. Some of you very soon. Yeah. And. Uh, are we stars now? Yes. You are. Oh, oh you've been a star. You were, you were, you've been a star. I know we just escalated since the you know our first project, but yes, your stardom is increasing. We're not. I don't think we're used to this either. We're usually behind the camera. Hmm. This is this is still a little new for some of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. you handle it like handle a pro. It like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. So come out and see us. September 5th is our premiere at the VFW, and we hope to see you there. And thank you so much. We'll see you next month. See you next month. Come on. <laughs> no, you got to give it three beats. Come on. You got to do